2016 was a very uh, challenging year. It was a very challenging year. We lost a lot of celebrities and, um, and just regular people as well. And, and uh, we're going to highlight some of those people that we lost 2016. Uh, the famous people, uh, as you can see, very, very challenging year. Some of the recent, of course, George Michael uh, passing away. The British singer passed away on Christmas Day, 53 years old. Uh, singer, songwriter, producer who was part of the 80s group Wham! And, um, you know, so, you know, a lot of people, celebrities and, uh, you know, just fans, very sad to see to see him go. It's, it's sad to see anybody go. Uh, somebody that I was definitely sad to see go, Carrie Fisher, uh, Princess Leia, the whole Star Wars saga, just recently releasing a book where she talked about having an affair with Harrison Ford, who played Han Solo in the movie. Uh, so she was doing a book tour and that that whole thing. And uh, had a heart attack a few days prior, massive heart attack on a flight from London to here in the U.S. And uh, I guess she never fully recovered from that, uh, passing away uh, as we're recording this today on the uh, 27th. Uh, Muhammad Ali, the greatest boxer of all times, heavyweight champion, transformed himself into a global hero. He died 74 years old, uh, June the 3rd. Um, and a long-fought battle with Parkinson's disease, died of septic shock. Um, just, just like I said, one of the greatest, if not the greatest boxer of all times, transcending sports and, um, you know, just... just uh, uh, very, very sad loss there. Uh, interesting. A lot of mixed mixed feelings and mixed thoughts about the loss of Fidel Castro, the cigar-smoking um, communist leader of Cuba. Over, or, or quite nearly 50 years, he ran the communist country of Cuba, but his death sent a shockwave around the world. He died 90 years old, uh, November 25th. What's ironic about this is he outlived most of the people that were trying to kill him, a lot of U.S. people, presidents, uh, CIA folk, government, military, and other people uh, trying to take out Fidel Castro. They were not able to do it. He died on his own terms at the age of 90. Uh, my all-time favorite singer, Prince, the uh, 57-year-old singer, songwriter, found dead at Paisley Park in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, home, uh, I mean, just the, the legacy, the library of music that Prince left, the amount of hits. Uh, he has this rumored vault of uh, albums, of unreleased. He's recorded albums with other deceased people now. Uh, he just kind of was sitting on... Uh, Jay-Z and others trying to get control of the Prince Library. But um, definitely uh, Prince was a, uh, a, a hard-felt loss. Uh, Michael, Prince, Whitney, all gone. Uh, but Prince dying April the 21st of an accidental prescription drug overdose. Now, rock and roll singer, British rock and roller, 69 years old, David Bowie, uh, whose sound and style defined uh, just a generation. Um, and he defied uh, being categorized or put in a box. He died back in January uh, 10th after a battle with cancer. Nobody really knew that he had this cancer. Um, so, uh, you know, definitely won't be forgotten. Uh, a lot of times, you know, driving around the city, and uh, I saw flags at half mass, and I didn't know why. Uh, and I was aware of the death of John Glenn, but it, it didn't really click that they were flying at half mass because of the death of the U.S. astronaut who orbited the Earth first, right? And uh, he was also aboard the space shuttle Discovery back in '98 at age 77, making him the oldest person to fly in space. He died December 
uh, decorated Korean War fighter pilot, U.S. Senator for 24 years. He was 95 years old, so he lived a long, long life. Uh, speaking of living a long life, Zsa Zsa Gabor, 99 years old, the Hungarian model turned Hollywood socialite whose turbulent romances just set things off, right? She was the original uh, social media you know, celebrity whose business is just kind of all out there. She did that before there was social media. Uh, she died of a heart attack, 99 years old, December 18th. Now, Alan Rickman, many of you uh, will recognize his face, but maybe not his name. Uh, also 69 years old, British actor, lent his elegant charm to dark roles in Die Hard, the first Die Hard. He was the villain that, uh, you know, say, yippee kaye motherfucker. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he was uh, the person who had taken the building in Die Hard. Uh, he's also in Harry Potter. He died January 14th from pancreatic cancer. And cancer is a motherfucker. Uh, Rob Ford, the uh, ex-Toronto mayor whose many scandals included smoking crack and uh, having suspected prostitutes and all that kind of stuff, Toronto mayor of Canada uh, died back in March 22nd to be exact 46 years old from a rare form of cancer Morley Safer I remember Morley Safer so clearly because Sunday every Sunday evening my family would have Sunday dinner and 60 minutes would be on TV and I just remember seeing Morley Safer on there but he died of pneumonia uh, May 19th 84 years old. Now, Craig Sager, the NBA sideline reporter known for much uh, much of his career for his outrageous suit jackets and his deep knowledge of the game. He died December the 15th of leukemia, only 65 years old. Now, uh, Ricky Harris. Some people may know him. Some people may not. But let me remind you. He was on Def Comedy Jam, hilarious. In many of Snoop Dogg's early videos, you can see him. He played Tidal in, in, uh, in one video. He's the father um, uh, of Snoop in, in one video, um, uh, Gin and Juice. And uh, he was in Dope. He was in Everybody Hates Chris. Uh, you know, just very, very funny guy. Poetic Justice, uh, 54 years old. Uh, died just December 26, Ricky Harris. Um, now, for for my Baltimore people, uh, Lil Scooter, Baltimore-based rapper whose hit song, The Bird Flu, was really getting ready to propel him to national heights, but he was tragically gunned down June the 25th at the age of 23. He was a, a rapper that was getting ready to really blow. Uh, so that's that's why I have him on this list. But here in Baltimore, very well known. Um, now, somebody else in, in the music side of things, Atrell Cordez, better known as Prince B of the 90s R&B group PM Dawn. He died June 17th from kidney disease, only 46 years old, uh, had gone through an amputation, a partial amputation of his leg. Uh, but PM Dawn, Jeff definitely in the 90s, they really embodied that sound, that 90s sound. Um, so I don't think PM Dawn gets their credit. And uh, so definitely want to say RIP to him. Um, Ron Glass, a lot of people may remember the Emmy-nominated actor. He played Ron Harris on the sitcom Barney Miller. Also had some uh, classic, he had a classic appearance uh, on Good Times. He was acting like he was blind. Uh, but uh, he was in um, many, yeah, many of those 70s uh, sitcoms. He did, you know, guest appearances on there. He died November the 25th, 71 years old. And um, Alan Thicke, of course, father of Robin Thicke. But Alan Thicke was a star of the uh, sitcom called Growing Pains. He played the father. I would say this, it, it was kind of like, uh, you know, so he's Mike Seaver. It, it, it was kind of the equivalent to 
uh, the Cosby Show, maybe you know, it didn't have the run of the Cosby Show, but very similar, like like the the white version of the Cosby Show. Uh, but um, Alan Thicke suffering a heart attack while playing with his grandson, uh, December the thirteenth. Um, going back a little bit to the springtime, so, and, and some of these people that pass away, you kind of it just slips your mind that they pass away because life is moving so fast. Uh, Joni Lawler, uh, also known as China. The female wrestler, groundbreaking professional wrestler in the WWF, uh, China, very muscular, and um, you know just just well known and uh, missed. She died at 46 years old, April the 20th. Florence Henderson, the actress who was like she was she was that 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 white version of the mother that a lot of people seem to like on the Brady Bunch. Uh, she died November 24th at Cedar Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles, 82 years old. Cedar Sinai has, because it's in Los Angeles, has just seen so many celebrity deaths. A lot of people that die in California, celebrity wise, in the LA area, that's that's where it happens at. Uh, Gene Wilder, another um, comic legend in many movies with uh, the late great. Richard Pryor, uh, See No Evil, Hear No Evil, um, Stir Crazy. Also in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, he died over the summer, August the 29th. Complications from Alzheimer's, 83 years old, definitely a legend. Uh, speaking of legends, from the legendary group, one of the founding members from the legendary group, A Tribe Called Quest, Fife Dog, uh, died back in uh, March, March 22nd to be exact, 45 years old. Malik Isaac Taylor, Malik the five foot freak. Uh, you know, prior to his death, he was battling diabetes. And um, Tribe Called Quest recently releasing their last album, and uh, definitely I encourage you to pick that up. It is fire. Uh, speaking of fire, the athlete turned actor. He was a boxer, and. Um, Ironically, he's most known for his roles in Rocky. He was the trainer for Apollo Creed and actually later trained Rocky Balboa in the movie. Tony Burton uh, died February 25th, 78 years old. George Gaines. Now, this is a very funny guy. Comedy, actor. Uh, February 15th, he passed away at the age of 98. He was on Punky Brewster, for those who remember that, in the 80s. Police Academy. He was the the commandant in Police Academy. Uh, Mission Impossible, Bonanza, a lot of things. Very, very funny guy. Some people may not remember this, but he was in this series called Soap. And this was like a, uh, a, a spinoff of soap operas, but it was very funny. Um, Abe Vigadoa. And Abe was a, a character actor, most known for his role on Barney Miller, he played Phil Fish, but he also played Sal Tessio in the Godfather franchise. So you definitely remember that for all of my Godfather fans. Now, George Kennedy, hilarious. Now, you may not know his name, but you'll recognize his face if you watch movies like Naked Gun or Airport or Cool Hand Luke. 91 years old, passed away February the 28th. Doris Roberts, everybody loves Raymond. She was the mother, and she died 90 years old. But she was in a lot of a lot of roles over the years. Veteran actress, Saint Elsewhere, Remington Steel, Perfect Strangers. These are all big hits from the 80s. But uh, April 17th, 2016, she passed away. Last on our list, Nancy Reagan, one of the most high-profile, influential first ladies. Of the 20th century, died 94 years old, March the 6th, congestive heart failure. Um, ironically, December was the month that took the most people. And, um, you know, so we definitely want to take a moment to remember those people that are gone, those famous people, and the people that were not famous. Uh, 2016. Uh, was a very, very rough year. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at the Diamond K Show. If I missed anybody, please let me know in the comment section. Um, new episodes of Diamond K Show drop daily. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss an episode.